beautiful people how we doing today's video is going to be about getting to know god better and a side of things that comes along with this that you probably didn't even think of or consider but i have and sometimes i almost uh wish i was ignorant to it right but overall it's a blessing and great thing to be a child of God. I don't want that to be misunderstood in any type of way as I uh, dive deeper into God's word and this video sharing, you know, my personal thoughts and feelings along the way as well. Uh, personally talking or speaking, right? God, I feel like he won't let me go. And there's more size than two but just the two that come into my head are the type of people that god like you're his he chose you he chose all of us right but there's different ways and methods and how he goes about like doing business like and i mean business in the sense of like how he treats us how we're drawn to him like i feel like in my life every time i go astray he always reels me back in. I'm one of those children or sheep of God, unfortunately, whereas I look at the other side of it to where, and there's two sides with the other side too, where you've done a lot of stuff, been through things, right, uh, in life, and you looked and called upon God, and it turned your life around, and you never looked back since. You've been a great believer following God's words to the best of your ability and or just the person who naturally just kind of whether your grandparents or parents um it was taught to you you're fortunate enough to know and understand and maybe raised up in the church and you followed all of those principles and values so you've always known about god and followed the word obviously nobody's perfect but you know there's levels that's that's what i'm getting at with with this or with that portion i hope i hope I did not lose you. I'm going to get right to scripture, though. Hebrews 4.16. Let us then fearlessly and confidently and boldly draw near to the throne of grace, the throne of God's unmerited favor to us sinners, that we may receive mercy for our failures and find grace to help in good time for every need, appropriate help and well-timed help coming just when we need it and trust me i need to be on time way more of the time i'm practicing on that in real life in jobs and in everything i need to be more punctual i need to be on time i'm trying to be a little bit early i really am but god i assure you is always right on time he does not he's never missed a beat it's I had on my heart to tell you the timing of God in and of itself is a miracle to me. And I, I, I genuinely and truly believe that because I, I'm i just like so lost. I'm, I'm, I'm with God. All my faith and belief is in him. I don't really know what to do right now in real time as far as career career wise, how I need to best lead my family. A lot of things financially I need a lot of guidance I'm seeking and getting the learning right. And God has been putting things in place. Sometimes I don't see it. Now I'm seeing things. You don't catch everything. A lot of stuff happens in the background. You, you're not going to see it until it all comes together. So that's a, that's a key part right there, a little nugget that that's right off the top. Like, man, that's me just talking to you right now. Had no, no intentions. I didn't know I was going to even tell you that. But I will not digress. He's going to put people, things, opportunities in your face, open up those doors, open up those windows, and it's going to be right on time. And that's, that's just beautiful. I assure you, he will be right on time. And also, he will always make sure that we have everything that we need to, to face whatever it is that's in front of us. There's nothing that we're going to be faced with in this life that God hasn't already or won't provide us with the tools, equip us with, 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 equip us with whatever it is that we need 
to get through it. You have to believe and understand that. We're going to go through things, but it's nothing that we can't go through. I, I'm right there with you. There's a lot of things that I don't want to go through. I try my best to avoid it. Uh, but if it's what we have to do, if, if it's what God has placed in my life to get through, I'm, I'm going to look at every opportunity to be able to believe and trust and, and embrace more of the situation um, with the lens or the perspective of, what does God want me to do? How can I serve people? What is my purpose in this to be able to do what's needed for why I'm here? Next verse, Hebrews eleven six. But without faith, it is impossible to please and be satisfactory to him. For whoever would come near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he is a rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek him out. I pray for more faith each and every day because it's needed. I need to believe more. I need to have stronger faith. Um, I was under the impression and I, I need to do more research on this, right? Uh, I did a, a video about tithing. I'm trying to figure out um, in me diligently seeking God. I'm trying to figure out if I need to be tithing directly to a church or if I need to uh, just like focus on myself, I focus on God. There's just so many questions that I have and I just need to direct them directly to God. And so should you. He will make things crystal clear for us and we can talk to him just like a regular person. I'm thinking right now, I, I, I feel myself getting ready to digress. And there's just so much that I want to share with you that I that I know and that I've learned. And there's so many people uh, like myself that can almost, you know, start to veer off. And OK, well, if it's like that, like, don't don't veer off too much. Just stick to what God is saying in his word and try your best to understand the word. Um there's pastors, there's people, anybody can say whatever they want to say, and they can have the best intentions on their heart like myself. But it is key for you to be able to open up God's word and try your best to understand it for yourself and pray to him for the wisdom and knowledge to understand it, how it's meant to be understood by him. He knows how to communicate with you to give you that understanding. This next thing, and this is one of the key purposes that 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 drove me or inspired me I had it on my heart to make this video with you I do not mean this in a negative way but there is a little part of me sometimes that gets that gets nervous definitely trying to veer away from using the word scared but it is a fear that's the best word a fear for God Right. And you're like, OK, Dom, you're losing me. What's going on, chosen? Where, where are you going with all this? Right. This is what I mean by that. I have to do more research in the Bible because I, I think I'm it's a like 90 percent tile. Like that's how sure I am that I believe that there is scripture there's in God's word that talks about the more either that really quick or. I remember sermons about it more than more than one or it stuck with me and in my heart so much to share with you now. So the more you learn about God's word and you learn about God and how he wants us to be, how we're supposed to be, how he's called us, how I know that I'm a child of God. So I have to live differently. And I know myself. I know when I'm falling short. Yes, we all fail. But it beats me up sometimes when I fail over and over with the same the same thing, right? The same obstacle, just in different ways. Try not to digress. But the point is, the more you learn about God, the more is expected of you to follow what you're learning. So I'm trying to put this, like I said, I mean this in no kind of a negative way just to talk to you about it and help you realize and don't, don't miss this. It is a blessing um, to get to know God and all what he gives and who he is. But there is a very high level of accountability that comes along with us learning God's word and how we're supposed to be, because we know what we're supposed to be doing and we can't 
excuse me, we can't holler ignorance and say, oh, well, I didn't know. If you truly don't know, then hopefully God, you know, he knows that you didn't know and he knows your heart. But the more I learn about God trying to graduate and develop out of that baby Christian mode and, and develop and grow as a man and man up, especially in God's word, I, I'm just like, do I do I really want to keep knowing? Like, I know a lot of the basics and I'm I'm messing those up. Do I want to learn more about how more, how much more I'm messing up? And then like, OK, this isn't this is happening like this for you because it, he said, do this. You ain't doing that. He said, do this. You're doing the opposite of that. He said, turn left. You went right. He said, go right. You went left. He said, go straight. You went backwards. And sometimes it, it, it can get discouraging, but push through. Don't. Don't be afraid. Just fear the Lord in the best way, how he called us to, and know that he loves us already and that he knows our imperfections and we can do this. Next verse, James 4, 8. Come close to God and he will come close to you. Recognize that you are sinners. Get your spoiled hands clean. Realize that you have been disloyal, wavering individuals with divided interests and purify your hearts of your spiritual adultery. And this this verse just goes right into what I was just talking about and what makes me, uh, you know, a little bit nervous because I know that my hands aren't clean. I know that I need to man up and buck up and do what I need to do, follow God's word, not have excuses. Because at the end of the day, that's a lot of it is for me. I understand, yes, I'm, I'm, this is flesh, I'm of the flesh, but I can do better. There's always room for improvement. You can do better. And we just have to, to keep that on the forefront of our mind, keeping God first. What does his word say? If we need help, if we're struggling, literally give it to God in that moment and be the best you that you can be applying God's word because he wants the best for you. I assure you of that. Next verse, Psalms 145 or 145 verses 18 through 19. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him sincerely and in truth. He will fulfill the desires of those who reverently and wor wor worshipfully fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. Now, people, I feel like personally have the wrong idea about a wrong a misunderstanding or interpretation of what God and Jesus mean by uh, saving us because the reality is we're already saved. I did a video about nobody's coming to save you um, after this one. If you want to check that video out, great. But God is going to help you. You have to understand that he's, he's here for us. He's all for you. He created you. But we just have to trust the process, get better, keep him first, develop a better relationship and things will grow from there. A lot of this that I'm telling you, it's I'm, I'm j I just look at a lot of this is looking in the mirror and talking to myself. I'm, if I'm to be honest with you, I believe that God gave us and will give us everything that we need, all of our desires. He already plans to do that and give us that and some, as long as those desires are aligned with his word and it's not like you know i had to get out of the mindset of like not asking for things that are going against god's word unfortunately why well, i have to man up and grow as a christian man because i shouldn't even be wanting or asking for that right so we have to make sure that our lives are lined up with and in god's word and i assure you everything else will fall into play the miracles will just be um they're like simple but they're there to me there's no miracle that's simple and i was explaining to my wife some of the miracles that are happening and i know that it i know that it, it can only be god there's no other way how things are happening and especially the way that they are happening but i believe that we are on the last verse here that i have for today 
which is Psalm 73, verse 28. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God and made him my refuge that I may tell of all your works. I don't know where I would be without God. I assure you, I have made so many mistakes in my life. I've mismanaged so much of God's money that he's blessed me with. And I am still in a very blessed position and opportunity where I'm at and to even move forward to be able to have the potential to keep uh, having uh, work opportunities and career growth. I just need to learn what skills I'm going to obtain next, what's the best method, like where I should be going to school at, like what I should be learning, things of that nature is what I'm referring to. And none of that will be possible without the grace of God, where I, where I came from, my story, I know that, that it was God. And even with me, like being lukewarm, which is the worst way you want to be, like sometimes for God, sometimes you're not. Like, I grew up in a church, so I should always be God first. I should always be following God's word. I know a lot of it, and I know where I'm not applying it, and it messes me up sometimes because it's like, oh, I, I would be here, but I'm not because I know where I fell short at every single time. And sometimes that does, that gets at me, but don't be discouraged. You can do this. God forgives us. We just have to keep trying, never give up, dig down deep, just pray to God, tell him where you're at and where you, what you feel, how you feel, and, and try to try to develop a better relationship with him. This channel is a huge part of my testimony because I'm going to be sharing how I elevate. I'm not, I want to be at a, a way different spot in life but I'm not uh, based on my age. I feel like I should be further ahead and that's okay. God has me where I'm at for a reason. I need to be able to tell you and there's others that will come across my story and be able to hopefully learn from the mistakes that I've made and to be able to apply God's word better, understand the, the seriousness um, and the blessings that come from it. I definitely uh, want you to stay encouraged. Keep God first, Kingdom family, and I love you.